Hi guys, in this video, I will teach you how to customize and deploy Debian Vanilla Gnome. Debian Vanilla Gnome come by default with many many unwanted and annoying application and games like Windows 10. For example, in Windows 10, we have Candy Saja or something like that and many many applications that we don't uh, use and also Debian uh, when it's come by default it's come ugly so how I customize Debian Vanilla GNU so first I have to remove all the unwanted extensions in the GNU so I have uh, two command I will teach you how to use them so now I go to my file so I go data so I copy this command I open the terminal and I passed so this secret will remove all the unwanted application that's come by default in the GNU. So now all the application that we don't need, it will be removed safely. Second thing, I have to clean the extension, the GNOME extension. So I go to my file. And by the way, I will put this command in the description below. So now I go, I want to remove the, uh, the extension in the GNU, so I have them here and I copy these two commands and I go to the terminal and I pass them press enter, now it's finished then you have to reboot your system and continue so now we have this GNU Now let's see the source. The source is it's improved. Okay, we close this. Now, how I uh, now I teach you uh, how uh, to customize, uh, how to remove the unwanted application, and the uh, how to deploy Debian. How I customize Debian. So now Debian is look ugly. So to customize it and to make it behave in the way I like, I open the browser. Then I have the extension that I want to install. So first I have to check if I have the GNOME shell is installed. Yes, my GNOME shell is installed. So I have no problem in the GNOME shell. It's installed. Let's see if there's some extension. Look, this extension is empty because we delete all unwanted extension. We want to build the user interface, the GUI of Debian in the way we like as a, as a user, because this is the idea of using Linux. Let's check again with the tweak extension. Look, the extension is empty. We remove them from the root. So now we, we have to install our extension to make it behave, to make Debian behave in, our, in the way that we as a user like. So for example, I install uh, the extension that I like. So, wait. So, first extension dash to panel. I like it. So, dash to panel. Then I go to the tweak. 
I go to extension, dash to panel. This is the first extension. I, so I can put it left. I can put it bottom. And I can put it top or right. So I put it top as a top uh, bar. Then in the stylus, I make it 32. I can make it bigger and I can make it, make it smaller, but uh, 32 is best. Then here, I can enable or disable. Then tra the transparency, I can enable, disable. Look, it's changing. So, and I make the transparency 100% uh, non-transparency to make it solid. Okay? Then I go to the behavior. I disable this, disable all these things. I go to action, do nothing, do nothing, and disable. I go to fine tune and disable animation. Animate, animate, disable. Okay? I close it. So I have now the top bar. Now I need the left bar. Where is my application? Must be show. So I go to this uh, to to this extension dash to dog, and I install it. So look. Now we go to tweak. Close it. Again, tweak. So we have extension dash to dock. So I disable intelligent height auto height and I check this panel mode extended to screen edge. I enable this. Okay. Then I go to launcher and I uncheck the animate and I check move the application up so the application will be up. I go to behavior and I choose here minimize. So when I press this, this, it will be minimized. Okay. I go to appearance. I check this. To shrink the dash and I choose here dot I enable this and I choose the kernel uh, the the color black select black and I choose here fixed and I make the opacity hundred percent opacity and here I choose force straight corner and I close it so now let's see we have the traditional unix like user interface in the top we have the the sound the microphone the network the Bluetooth, the battery, and the user account, the calendar, the language, and this the accessibility. We didn't finish yet. Now we go again to the extensions, the GNOME extensions. Let's look what extensions I prefer. So, I want to disable the hot corner. This hot corner, I don't like it. When I hover the pointer in the top left, it will make like that, show overview. I don't like it, so I disable it. Press Enter. Another extension, remove accessibility. I want to remove this guy. Okay. It's removed.
Remove drop down arrows. Look these annoying arrows. We want to remove them. Remove and there is no arrows. Now the input. I want option in the input. Sounds. There is no more input. So I want to install the input. And here we have the inputs. Look. So from here we can control the system. The system input. Still my focus. No, 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 no. A Bluetooth connection. Bluetooth quick connection option. For example, if you make the Logitech, so here you find many, many options. So yes, I installed. Annoying. Tweak. Removal driver. So, for example, if we put the USB, it must be show here. It's, it's good. Install it. The U launcher. U launcher is good uh, application. So, for example, I press Control Space, and this is the U launcher, and I can customize it. Launch at login and shortcut. So here I can search my system. Okay. What's next? Okay. Oh no. Nicht. 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 And that's all. So now we finish the GNOME extension customization. Next step we go to the setting and we customize the setting. We type here setting. We go to the setting. So the background here I prefer these pictures. The mountains pictures. And the look screen I prefer solid color in the, in the look screen. So this my look screen. Notification. I disable all notification. Search. I disable it all. Universal access. The crosser, the, the crosser size, I make it medium. Online account privacy. I disable this. Sound. I go sound and effect. For example, before. Sorry. Sound and effect. Look. I disable this. So there is no sound effect when I press when I raise the sound or minimize the sound. Power, I leave it like that. Then here it's finished. So this is the first customization. Now I got to tweak tweaks in the tweaks general I disable animation and the appearance I choose purpose I install purpose icon okay extension now we have this extension let's go again tweak and look we have only these extensions. Before, by default, when we install Debian, it's come with 16 or 20 extension. Now we have minimal extension. Only the extension that the user like, it has to be installed. And otherwise, we delete it. Keyboard and mouse. We choose the array. We choose this. So we, when we type the middle, it will be passed. Startup application only this will be startup window title bar. So we need minimize, maximize, and minimize. So check, check this workplace. I choose one, so there's no workplace here, or you can make it like a default. So we will see. To work this but for me I prefer this so now we finish with the tweak tool we tweak the Debian 
Now, in Debian, sometimes we, we face problem in the Bluetooth and in the Wi-Fi. Connection, disconnection. Connection, disconnection, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So I have some, some, uh, some code. Also, I will put it for you. So we go to file, my file. And we type oh. so we copy this here in the terminal we copy this then we copy this connection we remove everything from default Wi-Fi Power save and we copy this and we save it we close it okay then you copy this and you open the terminal and you paste it here and that's all you disable so now the connection it has to be stable stable connection Another thing, I prefer to modify the fast tab. So I go, also I will show it to you. Now swap, and I copy this command. Also I put it for you in the description below. Open the terminal, paste the command, your password, no sorry, you didn't copy it. You didn't copy it, copy this command, paste it, password, password, and here, here, you write Noah time regular. Okay, look, without space. Before the error, you write this. No time regular then the error then you save and you close okay now we're done another thing I prefer to install another package manager I prefer to install flat pack so I can get the latest and the greatest some software for example i prefer uh, i install uh, i use uh, the clips and uh, the visual studio from flatpak because they are latest series libreoffice from flatpak so i install flatpak and we go to the chromium and you type debian flat pack enter and you go to the flatpak and you follow these steps so you install Flatpak after the restart you go to your store GNOME store and you can see for example here says Flathub the shortcut Flathub Audacity Flathub ok LibreOffice for example LibreOffice is important this LibreOffice is installed as Flathub or Flatpak okay now when you install a Flatpak how to update the application in a Flatpak simply you open the terminal and you you type sudo flatpak update and it's update sudo flatpak minus vv and it's update so now all your flat pack let's have the latest and the greatest in Debian because Debian stable come with old up application so here you can get the latest and the greatest application okay so now we're done with this guy let's check if our kernel as I show you in the Video pre uh, the in the previous video of this uh, of this uh, upgraded, so we use new name 
R, enter, and we have the greatest kernel. So all the newest driver, now we can get it. Let's see, sudo, lsb, sorry, lsb, release, a, so we have Debian, Ignu, Linux, 10, booster, the name, and the code is 10, with the latest kernel. And we make the modification and we make it and we make it deploaded. So now it's very very fast Debian and very very stable with the newest and safest software. Because being current sometimes to be important. Now I go to tweak in the appearance I choose Add with a dark theme, dark theme, and this I keep it as default. And I install Perpius. How to install Perpius in Debian? We go to the browser, Chromium browser, and give me a minute because we type papyr papyrus icon theme we go to the github it is open source and we choose Debian and derivative and we copy paste these commands in the terminal and we can install the purpose so the icon it will be like that look is nicer is better than the gnome icon so Now another customization. Here I enable battery percentage to check my battery percentage in the top. So I have six, uh, 46 percent. I enable this to see the weekday and I enable this to see the date. Okay. And this we talk about it. We talk about it now it's fast like hell Debian now is fast like hell and that's what I like it and this is the VS code and the latest one about it is the latest one uh, Chrome blah 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 Linux 5.4 and the version is 1.44 it is latest okay close it now how I customize my shortcut I go to setting then here I type keyboard so here I type super D and I set so when I press Super D, I go to the desktop. Look, Super D, I go to the desktop. Then, here, I type Super Z. So when I type Super Z, it shows my application, all application. Okay, here, I type Control Q. So when I press Control Q, it will be close the windows. Then here, let me remove it. Here, I have to modify some shortcut key. So here, I want to, to make shortcut key for the terminal. 
So I press T as a terminal, and I hear the command ignore minus terminal, and the shortcut key Alt T. Okay, so when I press Alt T, the terminal will be open. Another, I want to create a shortcut key for the reboot. Here I type R capital the name and the command system to reboot and the shortcut key control alt r i choose control alt r so it will be for the reboot now i want to create shortcut key for the shutdown s i call it s capital s and system to power off and the shortcut key control alt s so i modify this shortcut key i have another shortcut key it's uh, the hibernation so i forget uh, the command so i go to fire then i go shortcut key and this uh, so here shortcut key for logout let's go down past it here and past it here and the shortcut key will be control alt o for the logout and the shortcut key for hybrid Okay, we go to the keyboard, we add, past it here, past it here, and the shortcut key will be Control Alt H. So now we have complete shortcut key. Shortcut key for opening new document. So, gedit, gedit, Control Alt G. Okay, so control alt G, look, it's open with the shortcut key, we open new document. You can make shortcut key, for example, for chromium. 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 Control alt B, let's call it. So when you press control alt B, chromium will be open. And that's So now we are done with the shortcut key. Another application I prefer, I prefer the HTOP. It's like a window task taskbar. So I install HTOP sudo apt install HTOP control uh, enter. Okay. Now HTOP is installed. Now I run HTOP HTOP and I see my system resource and extra 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 no cancel another application i would prefer the new fetch so it's, uh, it's like uh, general information about your uh, linux system so sudo sorry sudo apt install new fetch right new fetch and this is the system information. Think about T470, 5.4, the kernel that we updated, and uh, the package we have. 1630 package and 31 package for Flatpak installed. And the bash is 0.03, and the resolution, the GNOME, and the shell, and the theme is dark, Perpius, the icon, a GNOME terminal, Intel i7. Core 4, Intel HD, a graphic 6, blah, 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 and 32 giga, gigabyte of RAM. This is the general information. We have it. Okay. We close the terminal. What's uh, next I want to show you? Ah, for the power management. Power management, we go to TLP. Type TLP and install TLP. You go here, here maybe, 
and you go to Debian. As we I show you in the previous video how to enable <coughs> the non-free software in your repo. So when you enable it, you go here and you choose booster backport and you install it. Terminal, you copy this, paste it in the terminal. No, sorry. You have to you have to be not as a user as a root so sudo si and paste it okay now it's the tlp is installed tlp type start now the tlp is a start now tlp minus start that's the start look your start so these are the start some modification to improve the power management and to improve the throttling so uh, for example i want uh, to make look my uh, sorry here look my configuration so battery one because i have think about think about i have two battery as i told you the external and the internal battery so battery uh, so let's see battery zero the charge start at 80 percent and end at 90 percent why this important this is battery zero one minute battery battery one the charge start at 80 percent and end at 90 percent why i do this for example if i put the the, uh, the the laptop on charge and for example i forget it so it will be not damage my battery because stop at 90 okay it will be like a desktop otherwise if i put it 100 percent it will be damaged if this 100 percent and this 100 percent it will be damaged the battery okay so how i modify this simply i go to the manual of the tlp configuration maybe configuration yes and I choose this command I copy it etc default TLP and I go to my terminal I go to my terminal and I write sudo gedit and I pass the command okay no, 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 exit. Why it's not work? Because I pass the command as a root. I have to pass it as a user. So, sudo gedit and I pass the command. No, it's not work. Why? What's the mistake? I etc default tlp. There is a mistake. some mistake so, yeah so you copy this command etc tlp dot config sudo g edit etc tlp dot config okay here you press control f and you type back t battery t re okay and you go down 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 yeah here you see here start charge battery one eight you remove the command and command this start and uncommon stop and you put 80 90 because i have two battery 
if you have only one battery you comment only one you you uncomment this and you you make the start at 80% and end at 90% if you are uh, if you have a uh, thinkpad like me you uncomment these two commands okay uncomment 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 and you start 80 90 80 90 okay after you finish the modification of this code you make save close and here in the in the terminal you write you type sudo tlp start so it will be restart and it's working fine fantastic okay look how fast now we close this we close this so let's see I will put for you the commands now we make this and we go to store so in the store now we have the package management which we installed which is come by default from the Debian package management and we have the flat pack which allow us to install the latest and the greatest software so it is good idea it is very 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 per uh, very fantastic idea that we have the flat pack and uh, we have the debian that installed in debian and we have the newest and the latest kernel so these are my application that i installed for example the clips look 22 march, march 22 the newest application okay close this okay relaunch and i have the newest one we close it we close it okay now we go to libra office And we have the newest one. Look the version. About this is the newest one. Six four three dot two. United States of America copyright two thousand and twenty twenty. This is the latest one. Next video I show you how to customize the LibreOffice, and I'm. How to make it look like the window microsoft office okay guys in the end of this video i hope you learned something and as i always say stay safe and see you soon